thanks for joining us today on Living Supernaturally, our daily devotion as we look into God's Word. We have been studying about uh, walking, uh, walking as believers, walking as disciples of the Lord and some of the practical things that involves that. When we look into the scripture, we see that there are exhortations, instructions and commands of how we should walk and we are going to look at one such scripture today. Uh, let's look at um, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. It says here, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. What does circumspectly mean? It means to walk carefully, to be careful, to be accurate, to be diligent. Which means to be consistent, earnest and to put in energetic effort. So it says here, see that you walk circumspectly. See that you walk in this manner, accurately, carefully, diligently, not as fools, which means that not as people who are unwise, who do not walk in such ways, but as wise. In verse 16, we look at another aspect of how we can walk circumspectly. It says, redeeming the time. Walk in this manner, walk circumspectly, not as fools but as wise. In verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Now we know that we cannot buy back time. Right? We cannot redeem time. Time flows moves forward. There's no reversing it, rewinding it. But the thing is, to live in such a way so that we can make wise and good use and sacred use of every opportunity. That we be punctual, that we be zealous, and we steward our time well. So it will be as if we are making every effort to redeem it. To redeem it, the word used there is to pay ransom, to buy back so, we, so here the picture is that we are making every effort or taking every effort to do certain things in order to make time our own, to possess time. So which means that we spend it well, we don't waste it, we are not complacent, we are aware of the precious nature of time, the fact that time is a non-renewable resource. When we go to verse 18, it says, understand the will of God. Now, this is all in line with walking circumspectly. Walk circumspectly, redeem the time. And it says here, understand the will of the Lord. What, are the, what is the will of God? What are the ways of God? What is the desire of God? Understand it. And we have the privilege of being in relationship with the Lord Jesus. So, the Lord says, my sheep hear my voice and they know me and they follow me. And as sons and daughters of, of the Most High God, Romans 8 talks about the fact that we are the privilege to be led by the Spirit of God. Led by the Spirit of God into the ways of God, into the will of God. So he says here, understand the will of the Lord. And verse 19 talks about um, not to be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but to be filled with the Spirit. Or to be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, dissipation meaning excess. So alcohol does that, lowers our inhibition, where we erase boundaries and moral boundaries, ethical boundaries and, and causing laws of control and we indulge in excess. So there's this warning. Be filled with the spirit but do not be drunk with wine. And it all flows in how we need to live circumspectly. Shall we put that to practice today? Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we've been invited, exhorted, instructed to walk circumspectly, redeeming the time because the days are evil, understanding what the will of the Lord is and not to be drunk with wine, which is dissipation, but to be filled with your spirit. Oh God, we pray that may the fruit of the spirit be evident in our life and may we walk Lord, manifesting the gifts of the Spirit in our lives. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.